So Nicholas got a new bag and his name is Bobby. So this is an anti-theft backpack. It is a Kickstarter project. So naturally the first thing that I asked Nicholas was can I cut it up? And uh, he says no. So we're gonna do other experiments. So as you can see, there's no zip on the outside. Everything is inside here. So when you put it on, the, the robber or thief can't access the zip and steal your stuff. And over here, we have uh, light reflective strips. One here and one here. So what this will do is that uh, when you're facing the traffic, the car is supposed to see you and so that they will not talk to you. So let's take a look at uh, what are the different uh, compartments of this bag. So at the back, the first thing you'll see is uh, this zip here. This is for easy access to uh, important things like your passport when you're traveling. This is a uh, hand carry bypass, I, I think. The zip goes around. Uh, it's, it's interesting that uh, it goes around the, this, this whole handle. So once you open it up, it looks like this. You have sleeves for laptop, uh, iPad, and also there's a buckle here that you can and do to review the whole bag so that you can access your stuff easily or when you're packing. More pouches here, the zip here. And on the side, uh, more zips for smaller knickknacks. Both left and right is the same. So over here there is this uh, USB port. Uh, what's so interesting about this bag is that with this USB port, you can put your power bag inside and you can charge your phone on the go like this. Essentially, you can be holding a phone and charging it while the power bank is in your bag. And actually, I think uh, this zip is very good for, uh, for storing your USB cable. This is Snip's umbrella. It's thin condition. Just buckle this back. You have to align the Velcro and then you buckle in the button. Another thing to take note is that there is a little pocket here. Uh, it's advertised for you to put your uh, EasyLink card or any uh, things that you need to access quickly. But uh, there is no zip or anything, so uh, maybe it's not such a good idea. La. Okay, put a thing that is uh, of low value to put it here. This bag is also uh, splash proof, so uh, for, for those who, who are traveling, if it's raining or what, uh, you, can, you can be sure that your, 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 your valuables are kept dry. So uh, putting this on, uh, it feels quite comfortable, something that you expect from a quality backpack. Uh, one thing that uh, I wanted to highlight is uh, this little Velcro here. What it does is that uh, it helps you to stow unused straps so it doesn't become too long and start to dangle. It's a very simple contraption. It's all just a Velcro that glues everything up together like this. And to keep it, you just roll it back up. So I think this is something that the uh, Army backpack can take inspirations from. So comparing the body backpack and the everyday backpack, you can see that the size is pretty much the same. So I can assume that the the amount of things that you can store inside is pretty much the same. This is a 20 liter one. This one I am not sure what's the volume, but based on the size, uh, it's pretty comparable. The difference is that uh, for everyday backpack, you can make more space by uh, buckling it up a bit higher, so you have a, a bit more volume on top. There's also places for you to hook stuff, so that you can uh, attach on uh, additional bags if you want. For the body backpack, there is, uh, there's no such op option at this moment. But uh, one thing is that this is uh, cut proof. So if a robber tries to, to cut it up and steal the things, he can't. Whereas this one has no such feature. So it really depends on what you are looking for in a backpack. If you are going to somewhere where it's not so safe, maybe you choose this one. If you are going to somewhere where uh, the things that you carry may vary a lot, you can choose this one. And in terms of the price, this is about $100 over dollars. Whereas this one is about uh, $300 to $400. Dollars. So uh, there's also the, this price thing that you have to take into consideration. So that's it. Remember to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Thank you for watching.